Hello everybody, um, I'm Adam Pettit, I'm the head at Highgate School and it's uh, really good to be talking to you again. Uh, a lot of you have been in touch with us and it's been really good to hear from you. I have to say I'm missing this sort of daily contact uh, with pupils and also with um, parents as well. The key thing you've been asking me is, well, it's great what's going on at school, but what about all the other things you do? Uh, what about the charitable side? And I thought uh, just a few moments on that would be of interest to you to reassure you that we are still very much on the case uh, thinking about what it means to be the reflective community uh, which we are. So as you can imagine, um, we've had lots of ideas and uh, we've done some fun things as well as some pretty serious things. Um, so we've opened our playing fields to allow people to get a bit of exercise and take the pressure off the heath. We've been making PPE, so personal protective equipment for the local hospitals. And we've been working with our school partners, in particular with the London Academy of Excellence Tottenham and we have helped set up a hardship fund uh, to which many of you contributed. So over £80,000 has been raised to date and that's been going since the start of lockdown to over 200 families to help with their food bills and uh, utilities and so on. So we are looking to the future, we're thinking about what will the effects of Covid-19 be on the community, on our schools after lockdown has finished. So I think it's becoming clear to people that uh, the, we're all suffering from the same storm, but we are not in the same boat. And the least well off are going to be the hardest hit. And so we need to bear that in mind in thinking about how we can respond as a charity, how we can respond as a school um, to those needs. Highgate School aims to be a reflective community, and that's been recognised in the awards we've received recently, which you'll know about and of which we're very proud. And that means getting to the heart of what our community really needs. and listening to them and being able to work in real time with their needs. So our message is that Highgate is here and we are now thinking about how to anticipate and to shape our responses to the needs as they're emerging in the community. Our mission is to make sure that uh, our charitable response um, addresses the immediate needs in real time, but also looks to the aftermath of this national emergency. In the long term, that's increasing the number of key worker bursaries, uh, opportunities for young people to come to a school like ours and in the short term to address um, inequalities of access. Right at this moment, uh, one of the things that's emerged immediately has been digital poverty. There are young people, uh, particularly those on free school meals, um, who's uh, not having access to a laptop or to a um, computer means that they're not learning well at home. But that is also true of when they will be coming back to school. There is going to be a difference in their access to good learning. And that's something that we can address immediately. Highgate is here, to me, means that we are responding to the needs that have been revealed by the terrible pandemic, uh, as it exists now and as it's going to affect children in the future, but also the things that were already wrong, that we were trying to find a way to help with, but they've been revealed much more clearly to us. I think running a school requires one to be an optimist. Um, when you're working with young people, you need to be full of hope and you need to be able to demonstrate hope. And I've been saying, you know, what are the silver linings to COVID-19? To my mind, identifying what young people really need and finding a way of dealing with that and being able to mobilise others to work with us is the best silver lining you could find.